Hi guys and welcome to How's It Rate. My name is Chico and I'll be your host today. Today we are going to be looking at a NOR product and it's Fiesta Sides Mexican Rice Rice and Orzo Blend with Bell Peppers and Mexican Seasonings. Pretty simple. It's a side dish or a main course I guess if you like to eat rice. But um, the picture looks great. It's uh, some nice long grain rice in there, and there's peppers, and and uh, looks like some red peppers. Um, looks really good. So uh, again, this is a Nor product. It's a family of the Lipton line, and it's Fiesta size. <coughs> Excuse me. So uh, let's see what it's got to say for itself here. Uh, wow, 25% less sodium than the original. Same great taste. So we'll see if that's true or not. Nor is committed to lowering sodium levels and has done this over time while maintaining the delicious taste your family enjoys. Sodium content has been lowered from 940 milligrams uh, in the earlier version of Nor Fiesta Sides. Mexican rice to 670 milligrams per serving. So that's, you know, per serving. There's still quite a, a lot. There is um, 2.5 servings in this little packet. By the way, I picked it up at Wally World for a buck. I mean, that's pretty cheap. It's got a little bulk to it. Um, let's take a look at the uh, the uh, daily uh, suggested uh, intakes here. Uh, serving size is one half cup, okay, and one cup prepared. So uh, I guess that means that it's a half a cup of this dry mixture before you make it, but it'll be one cup when you're done, and that's a serving. And I mentioned that there was 2.5 servings in this little package. So they list the calories and such as a mix and also prepared. I'm going to go with the prepared because nobody's going to eat this raw anyway. So here we go. Uh, calories uh, is 280 grams per serving. Okay. And the calories from fat are 50. Now the total fat is 1 gram. Uh, at 9%, saturated fat is 0 grams, at 5% and trans fat is 0 grams, cholesterol is 0 milligrams, so that's a good start, sodium is 670 milligrams at 28% uh, per serving, and the total carbohydrates are 50 grams at 70%, dietary fiber is 2 grams at 8%, sugars are 1 gram, they don't list a percentage, and protein is 7 grams. And then all your vitamins, uh, A, C, calcium, iron, blah, blah, blah. So, um, the ingredients are actually pretty familiar here. I mean, obviously we've got, uh, you know, the, the monosodium and all that stuff. But here we go. Enriched long grain rice, rice niacin, ferric, orthophosphate, iron, thiamine, uh, blah, blah, blah. And then it goes on to mention that we have... Uh, Soy protein, vegetables, red pepper, green bell peppers, and onion powder, and cornstarch, uh, a little bit of chicken fat, spices, and garlic powder. So, you know, sounds pretty good. Uh, it, the prep time on this um, is very, very simple. Uh, I'll just go over it real quick. For a stove top, in a medium saucepan, bring one and three quarter cups of water, one tablespoon of vegetable oil, optional, and contents of package to a boil. Stir, reduce heat, and simmer covered seven minutes or until rice is tender. Let stand about two minutes, stir, and serve. We're going to do it in the microwave. In a two quart microwave uh, soft safe bowl, microwave safe bowl, I'm sorry, combine two cups of water, one tablespoon of margarine, uh, optional and contents of package. Microwave uncovered on high about 12 minutes or until the rice uh, is tender. Stir and serve. So uh, microwave ovens may vary in power. We know that, don't we? And uh, adjust the times to, uh, to as needed. Now, um, there's also a nice little Mexican recipe on the back here. Uh, it says the prep time is five minutes. Cook time is 12 minutes, one pound of ground beef, one package of Nor Fiesta Sides Mexican rice, one can 15 ounces black beans, uh, rinsed and drained, and one and a half cups of water. Brown ground beef in a 12 inch nonstick skillet, drain, stir in Nor Fiesta Sides Mexican rice, black beans and water, and bring to a boil. 
reduce heat, and simmer uncovered, stirring occasionally seven minutes or until rice is tender. Let stand about two minutes. Serve, if desired, with a flour tortilla and your favorite Mexican topping. Sounds pretty good. Sounds pretty simple. We're just going to make the side today. So, here we go. We're going to open up our package. And I've got my favorite little rice cooking bowl here. It's made by uh, Nordic Ware. thing is great. It's got a lid that goes either this way to let steam out, or you can put it this way, and it actually keeps it from bubbling over the top, which is a real nice thing in a microwave oven. Excellent little pan. I got it at Wally World. I think I paid about six bucks for it. I've had it for a couple of years, and it works really well. I highly suggest that you take a look at this thing. So, we're going to uh, put in our rice. I can see all the seasonings in there and the pepper dehydrated. And let's take a sniff. Smells pretty good. Smells really good. I can smell the uh, garlic powder and the onion powder. Now we're going to add our two cups of water. And we're going to take, I'm going to use whole butter for that uh, uh, margarine or oil, or vegetable oil, whatever you want, but it says one tablespoon, so in goes that. Give it a quick stir just to get everything incorporated. So far so good, huh? It doesn't get much easier than this. Unless you just want to boil water. I knew somebody could burn water. I'm going to put my top in this way. As you can see, the lid can go this way or this way. And what that's going to do is if it starts to boil, it's going to keep it from coming out. So, here we go. We're ready to microwave. See you in a little bit. We're back from the microwave oven and our rice uh, looks like it's done here. Did it in our nice little uh, rice cooking pan. By the way, I use this for a lot of stuff. Anything that I want to heat in the microwave, like soup, great little pot. Um, as you can see, looks pretty good in there. Very hot, boiling. And uh, it looks really good. Um, two cups of water. Uh, it's a little loose, but not that loose. And I think if I let it sit a little longer, it might tighten up a bit more. Um, I gotta tell you this stuff smells outrageously good. Really, really good. So, uh, as I said, it's a little loose. I'm gonna pour it onto the plate here. Very, very hot. Smells so good I couldn't wait to, to eat it. So. Um, if you probably let this sit for about two or three minutes longer, it would firm up a bit. Or you could add a little less water. I put two cups in and that one tablespoon of margarine. So, let's give it a try. Let's see what this stuff tastes like. Wow. This is really, really good. And um, the low sodium that they mentioned, I still taste a little saltiness, but it's just right. So that didn't hurt it one bit. The rice is nice and, and uh, firm, not hard. Just, you know, got a little tooth to it, just the way I like it. Um, all the flavors are coming through. I can taste the bell pepper. Uh, I can taste the red pepper. I can taste the garlic. I can taste all the seasonings. This is really, really good. I paid a buck for it at Wally World. And um, what a value. If you had to buy all the ingredients separately to make this, it would cost you a lot more than that. Not to mention the time of, of dicing and washing and, and putting it all together and then cooking it. And who knows what the results would be. Uh, I imagine you could doctor it up, you know, the way you wanted, but so could you with this. If you wanted to add a little more spice to this, just add a little pepperoncino, you know, or some cayenne or, or whatever. But I got to tell you, this is a five. Oh, yeah, definitely worth it. And it's so good that what I'm going to do is try all their other 
uh, brands uh, under the NOR packaging that are similar to this and we'll do a series on it. So uh, I probably won't mention all the ingredients on the package again but what I, do, what I will do is pick out the ingredients that make that particular flavor unique. So that's it folks. Number five, five stars, big time. No problem. This stuff is absolutely delicious. It would go great with pork chops. It would go great with steak. It would go great with anything. This is an excellent side dish. It really is, and it only took 10 minutes in the microwave oven. So, doesn't get much simpler than that. I hope you enjoyed this review, and I look forward to seeing you again next time. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. Thanks again, and have a great day. Bye-bye.